Hello everyone. In this video, I will talk about how to build a lightning web component for account lookup and search record functionality using a search box. Uh, the provided code is an example of an LWC lightning web component that searches and displays Salesforce account records based on a search input. Uh, let's go through the code line by line to understand its functionality. Uh, let's start with the Apex controller named account lookup controller. Uh, this class is declared as public with sharing, indicating that it is accessible outside the class and enforces sharing rules. It contains a method named getAccounts that is annotated with that or enabled cacheable equals true. Uh, this annotation makes the method available for Lightning components and enables caching of its results to improve performance. Uh, the getAccounts method accepts a parameter named act name of type string, which represents the account name for searching. Inside the method, a variable named account list of type list account is declared to store the search results. If the act name parameter is not empty, a query is executed to retrieve account records that match the search criteria. Uh, the query uses a like clause to match the account names. Uh, the retrieved account records are assigned to the account list variable. Uh, finally, the account list is returned. Moving to the HTML code. Uh, the HTML code represents the visual structure of the Lightning Web component. It starts with a Lightning Card component that displays a card with the title account records and an account icon. Inside the card, there is a development with the class SLDSP horizontal small that contains a Lightning input component of type search. Uh, the input field is bound to the account name property using the value attribute, and the handle key change method is triggered on the on change event. Uh, below the input field, there is another development with an if true directive. It is used to conditionally render a message when no search results are found. Uh, the message is styled with the class SLDS text color error. After that, there is a template element with a true directive, which controls the visibility of the searched account list. Inside the template, there is a development with the class SLDSP horizontal small that contains a all element with the class SLDS list vertical space. Uh, the template element also includes a for each directive to iterate over the account list property using the for item syntax. Each account record is represented as an lie element. Uh, the lie elements have a unique key attribute bound to the ID property of the account record. And they also have an onclick event handler that triggers the handle parent selection method and passes the account details as data value and data label attributes. Inside the lie elements, the account name is displayed using the act obj name syntax. Now, there are two more developments that display the selected account's ID and name, but they are conditionally rendered based on the presence of account ID and account name, respectively. Move to the JavaScript JS code. Now, the JavaScript code is responsible for the component's logic and data handling. Uh, the code starts with an import statement to import necessary dependencies from Salesforce Lightning Web Component Modules. Uh, the component class is defined using the export default class syntax. It extends Lightning Element, which is the base class for LWCs. Uh, several properties are declared using the attract decorator. Uh, these properties hold the component's state and trigger reactivity when their values change. Uh, account name represents the search input value and is initially set to an empty string. Uh, account list holds the list of account records retrieved from the Apex controller and is initialized as an empty array. Uh, account ID stores the selected account's ID and is initially undefined. A message result is a Boolean flag that controls the visibility of the no result found. A message and is initially set to false. A show search values is a Boolean flag that determines whether the searched account list should be displayed and is initially used to wire the get accounts method from the Apex class to the retrieve accounts method in the JavaScript code. It passes the account name property as a parameter to the Apex method. And the at wire decorator automatically provisions data and handles errors returned from the Apex method. And the retrieve accounts method is executed whenever the wired property account name or Apex method changes. It receives two parameters, error and data. If data is truthy, not null or undefined, it means the Apex method executed successfully and returned data. In that case, the account list property is assigned the retrieved data, and the visibility of show search values is determined based on the length of the data. If the account name is not empty, but the data length is zero, it means no results were found, so message result is set to true. If an error occurs, it is logged to the console. But the handle key change method is triggered on the on change event of the search input field. It updates the account name property with a new value entered by the user. Uh, the handle parent selection method is triggered when an account is selected from the list. It receives an event parameter that contains the selected account details and its target property. Uh, the account's ID and name are extracted from the data value and data label attributes, respectively. Uh, the account ID and account name properties are updated with these values. Additionally, a custom event named selected is dispatched with a selected account ID as the event detail. Uh, the show searched values property is set to false to hide the searched account list. And lastly, move to the XML configuration code. Uh, the XML code represents the metadata configuration for the Lightning Web Component Bundle. It sets the API version to 57.0 and specifies that the component is exposed and can be used in Lightning tabs. In this example, the target is set in a Lightning tab. Only the Lightning tab target is specified, indicating that the component can be used within a tab in the Lightning Experience UI.